Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So as you understand, there is a request from lot of students just to understand what is the difference between different CSE and CSC specialization in terms of teaching. So I am going to cover this in this video. And the same is applicable for all the colleges in Karnataka. So first and se uh, second semester has similar subjects. So it is clubbed together, right? So if you, you will study calculus, differentiation, equation, engineering, physics. So in semester one, it will be engineering physics one. Then in semester two, it will become engineering physics two, basic electrical engineering, civil engineering uh, elements or basics of mechanics. Then you have engineering visualization, engineering physical laboratory labs, basically engineering lab electrical labs physics labs basically and in communicative english which will also be taught in both the semester first and second and then advanced calculus numer numerical so it is almost like uh, the subjects which are there in the class 12 or puc syllabus and uh, you also have innovation and design thinking or scientific foundation one of those you have to take Similar to engineering physics, you will also have engineering chemistry, uh, basics of electronics and communication, elements of mechanical, engineering chemistry laboratory and so on. So not everybody will have to take everything. Every, there will be only five papers per semester. So you will have to choose from this options, right? Similarly, there will be the chemistry lab, there will be computer programming lab and there will be professional writing skills in English. So this is what is covered in the uh, first and second semester which is common across all the engineering branches now i'll come come to third semester which is only for csc so for csc students uh, they will also again study you know calculus four year series and data structure and application this is very important subject it is called dsa and lot of interview questions come from this subject dsa data structures and application then you all you also will study analog and digital electronics so this is part of the electronics but you study in csc branch then next you will study computer organization and architecture and you will have oo triple o which is object oriented programming with java and then you will have uh, some subjects which are common like social connect and responsibility those are not it related and sanskruti kannada or balake kannada or constitution of india so one of those three subjects everybody has to choose additionally you will have ability enhancement course like mastering office programming in c plus plus so that was in semester three in semester four you will also again study mathematical foundations for computing design and analysis of algorithm microcontroller and embedded systems some of subjects are are from electronics background so this will give you a lot of information about networking and the other parts then there will be operating systems and something called biology for engineers python programming again you see choice between sanskriti kannada balake kannada and constitution of india and professional ethics one of those three subjects in the fourth semester you will also go for the ability enhancement courses like web programming unix shell and uh, universal human values and inter intra uh, institutional internship so internship also starts from uh, here then the fifth semester you will go for you know, automata theory, compiler design, computer nest networks, database management systems. You will be also taught artificial intelligence and machine learning, DBMS projects, research methodology, IPR is intellectual property, right? This is again the common subjects, you know, and environmental studies. Then ability enhancements course four there will be option for uh, Angular JS and Node JS, C Sheep Hash and uh, .NET frameworks. So all those are programming languages. Now coming to the sixth semester, here you will study about the software engineering and project management, full stack development, which is very important topic and lot of questions are asked in the interviews. You will also study computer graphics and fundamentals of image processing. And then there will be professional elective course one. And I will tell you at the end, what are the professional elective courses? You will have to select one of them. Similarly, there is an open elective course one. I will tell you again, what is included in that. Then computer graphics and image processing, mini project, and then you know, entrepreneurship courses or societal internship courses will be there. Now in the seventh semester, you will going to study big data analytics, cloud computing, professional elective courses, again two, professional elective courses, three, open elective courses too. I will explain what can be covered in that area and the project work will be given you in the seventh semester when your placement will start. And then in the eighth semester, it will be mostly like a technical seminar, research, internship, industry internships, national services, NSS, physical yoga, one of those you have to take. 
now i am talking about the professional electives one right where you have option from you have to choose from one of these which is agile technology java programming advanced computer architecture or data science and visualization so based on the uh, you know fixed subjects you can select the optional subjects like this and from the open elective side again you have so many options data structure dbms cyber security programming in java you can select one of those similarly in some some semester there was a professional elective 2 then there you can select subject from this one object oriented modeling digital image processing or cryptography network security blockchain internet of things based on your interest you can select subject from one of this under the professional elective bucket 3 there will be subjects like software architecture design deep learning robotic process automation which is rpa and no sql databases so again you can select one of this and under the open electives 2 they will be again offered programs from to the other departments like py programming in python ai ml big data and data science so you can again go and select one of these and the other packet which is the professional elective 4 again here subjects are available options like mobile computing advanced computer architecture no sql database again based on your previous choices you can select one of these so that's all overall semester wise i have covered all the subjects which you are going to studying in different parts of computer science csc btech course right so that's all and i will cover for all other branches as well thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar updates on all other branches syllabus as well take care and bye